How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender and today we're going to look at from VanQuest the Trident 31. This is their new backpack, obviously 31 liters. The features, the compartments on this, I mean VanQuest is already well known for all those things, right? Great quality, a fair price, the organization, pockets, pouches, sleeves, you name it, the compartments, it's all there. There's absolutely no reason to not be organized with any VanQuest product, let alone this particular bag. But this is the Trident 31 by VanQuest. This is what we're going to review today. Let's get a couple things out of the way. Like all VanQuest products, we are looking at 1000 denier Cordura. Not just ballistic nylon that a lot of companies use, although very nice, they use the brand Cordura. Very strong, uh, abrasion resistant, almost water resistant. It certainly does help keep uh, fluid or water out of your pack if you're out hiking in the rain. Um, we do so that's a thousand Cordura on the outside. We do have 210 high visibility that they use a lot rip stop material on the inside of the bag, and I'll demonstrate that for you. I'll show you that. We also have ITW and UTX Duraflex hardware throughout the bag, as well as uh, number 10, I do believe YKK lockable zippers. Some of them are lockable, some are not. But and they also have the the usual VanQuest, uh, which I really like, inverted zipper tracks or inside-out zipper tracks to also help keep out water, you know, rain and uh, dust, debris, so on and like that. And it does protect the zipper itself because the the part of the zipper that could really get damaged if it, you were to drop the bag, pull it on the ground, it's inverted, so that actually isn't being touched by anything on the outside. Right, so I'm on my cell phone because I really want to show the details so you can honestly see because sometimes pictures and other videos including my own won't show the little things you want to see the fine details so let's do this let's start on this side we'll go around to the front we'll go to the other side then we'll I'll, I'll, we'll go to the strap area the the back part and then we're going inside the bag so we have on top, as I already mentioned, a very nice neoprene padded grab handle. The sewing always is superb. Look at that. We do have this, uh, just a, a keeper or catch here. You can, you can strap stuff to that, carabiner, paracord, rope, whatever you want. We do have a port for your water bladder, if you so choose. The main zipper pull start from over here, goes all the way down one side, you see it kind of curve, and then underneath. The other side only goes halfway down. And again, look at look at those, those zippers, we got the YKK zippers and these amazing, I mean look at those for zipper pulls. One hand zippers, really easy, opening and closing. Oh, there's another bug in my mouth and this is of course lockable zipper you can see the two you can lock that right there and then we come down we do have a just a uh, just a loop here you could again strap something to you can see the inverted zipper there to protect the zipper we do have a nylon a strap this here is more or less not only just a, uh, what do you call it, a, a compression strap, but you can pull these down, both zippers, down to here, run this through them, and it will keep them from migrating up and down. I've never had one move on me, but you know, it is good to, to have. Then down here, I hope I'm not losing my light, we have the Hypalon. I hope I'm saying it correctly. It is like a, 
rubbery slash leather material. It will not degrade or break down or discolor with sun chemicals. As you can see, it is very well sewn on there. And it kind of feels like a rubber material. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, it's like a rubber material. I mean, and it is on there good. Now this is in place of obviously PALS webbing that you see on a lot of uh, tactical military style packs. And we have another loop there. So that is that side of the pack. Here we have the front of the pack, okay? So again, we have our neoprene handle up there. We have a large pocket. Here's the pocket right here. As you can see, we do have the Moly Air or Molly Air. Also, it is a hook and loop fail to put morale patches. You do have a shock cord with a shock cord lock. I did have my jacket, my rain jacket rolled up and stuffed underneath there and uh, hiked around for a couple miles. It didn't go anywhere. I had no problems. Let's open up this pocket. All right. So here we have a number of things. You do have a large with Velcro, a large pocket in the back that is that big. And it goes the whole length. You do have a number of these elastic bands to put different stuff there. And then you have this rather cool, you can kind of see through there. I do have some granola bars, a candy box. I am a diabetic. Again, YKK zipper, there's your 210 ripstop material. This is kind of a neat material. I can't even, I really don't even know what to call that. You can't semi, it is semi-transparent, but you do have a zipper. That is a big pocket right there. All right, now we're gonna drop down. We're gonna go down to the lower front section. We'll call this the uh, the admin area. So you can see it before I go further. You can see, again, lockable zippers. And these zipper pulls, really nice, very comfortable. I mean, they're kind of, they're a little bit different material than these. Both, I like a lot, both of them, they're nice. These are probably, I would say these are a bit more low profile, right? They're thinner, they're smaller, again, lockable, when these uh, kind of stick up. I mean, they're, they're not bad, I don't, I don't mind them, but um, these definitely I would consider more low profile. So, and I'm saying that because we have the same zippers down here, lockable as well. Mm -hmm. In the front, we have that same um, Hapalon material right there. So it goes from a nylon, look at that sewing there. And then it goes, you got a button here with the VanQuest logo and we undo that. Before I go in there, there's their logo and you have this large Moly Air panel. Again, this is hook and loop, Velcro uh, patches, morale patches, blood type, all that will fit on there. And again, this is in place of um, PALS webbing that you see on a lot of packs similar to this. Before I go into that section, let's, I'm not going to pull all this out. There's a lot of stuff. That is just one big open pocket from there to there and side to side you do have the 210 ripstop material i have a whole bunch of little things in there so i'm going to close that right just a big pocket just a big open 210 bright orange ripstop material on the inside it's a stuff sack you can throw anything you want in there now this zipper opens up all the way the one over here halfway all right and then in here we can put a whole bunch of stuff i don't normally use these pouches on any of my bags i, I just kind of realized that i seem to use all the other pouches but this so you can see 210 material we do have that sort of semi-transparent material there some velcro you do have sleeves this actually this is one big open sleeve you can get down inside there put more stuff 
right here you do have a large sleeve now I kind of have some big items here so and this is stuffed with a lot of stuff so there's not a lot of room maybe some paper paperwork stuff like that you do have a key keeper and again rubber bands to put assortment of things and I can tell you that DEET is not doing anything for the bugs <laughs> at all at all now we're on the other side we do have again another port as you can see I do have my axe Woo, that is windy so you can tell I mean it's sold as an axe but that's kind of small. I think it's 16 inch handle um, it fits in there really nicely I take that off I undo this okay and watch this boom see that my axe comes right out let me grab this that fits in that fold up pouch right there very nicely okay let's put the axe down so you have here again zipper pulls you have some shock cord, any number of things you can do with the shock cord. You have more attachment points. This is the main compartment zipper. As you can see, it does stop right there. Here we have a rather big fold-out pouch. Here is the Hypalong or Hapalong. Hypalong, I hope I'm saying that correctly, VanQuest. You do have that same material you can attach stuff onto there. It is a really nice size pocket. You unzip that and it opens up and you can put a one liter, 32 ounce Nalgene bottle in there or an ax like I did. Works great, obviously a cook kit. There's so many things you can put in there. It's just, it's a wonderful kit. Then again, more zippers, these kind of zipper pulls. You pull that down and then you have another area, another keeper, key keeper. 210 ripstop material. Check this out. <laughs> yes. Review coming soon. You gotta love those. And and yes. What is that? Uh-oh. That's gonna be fun to review. So you do see have some sleeves here. You can put a number of things one-handed zippers I really like that and that is this side let's turn the bag around here we have the back of the bag right this is the pot that goes up against your back for those of you that don't know another water fluid bladder port multiple and this is kind of like an elastic too it's pretty nice all right so you have a very generously padded breathable padded uh, shoulder harness obviously two of them nicely padded in the back let's take a close-up look at that All right that is so nice very nicely padded I have this thing pretty loaded out with a lot of stuff and uh, it was very, very comfortable. Let's go down the shoulder harness. We do have a number of things. We do have these. Any number of things you can do with these. Uh, this one is put here mostly for your water bladder, right? Uh, the hose. Let's come down again. Another uh, attachment point for anything you want. Here we have the Cordora logo. You know you're getting the real thing. Here we have the Hypalon material. We got two straps here with their logo. Mine got a little bit dirty there. Their logo, VanQuest name there. And we keep coming down. And you do get a number of these throughout the bag. See how you can roll that up? That is so, so not just hanging around. I also know they sell these little strap keepers separate, but with this bag, you do get uh, a pretty decent handful of them as well. We do have a removable or relocatable, is that even a word, sternum strap with the whistle. You do have it with the whistle. It is adjustable. You can go up or down. I have not moved mine. It's been, it was pretty, it's kind of low, normally lower than I would normally wear it, but 
I like it, so I left it. And again, another great feature of this pack. We do have the um, a waist belt, a great waist belt. Very well padded. It is Velcroed in there or hook and loop. It will come out. I can tell you that it will not come out easily. I mean, it will come out no problem, but it takes a little bit of time. Um, the, the, so you know it's not going to slide. It's not going to move. It's not going to fall off on you because the hook and loop is solid. On your waist belt, you do have more PALS webbing. Now, this is the normal PALS webbing you see on other bags. I am very happy to announce that VanQuest did away with, at least on this bag, the other waist strap that they were using where you had to kind of push a button to squeeze the button to let loose the button, <laughs> right? It took a little bit of getting used to. They did away with that. I've been using this. I normally don't use waist belts. I don't, I don't really care for them because I carry a gun, a knife, in a multi-tool, possibly a spare magazine on my belt. And when I wear this, it kind of hinders all that. It gets in the way. So I normally remove this and I'm so happy that they made it so that it can be removable. So that is the back of the Trident 31. Here we are at the end. So I recently, I just did undid that strap, right? Open up this zipper. You take this zipper, look at it, one hand. I hope all my stuff doesn't come pouring out. And voila. Take my shemag off. And this is the inside of your Trident 31. I do have some hammock straps. I do have a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. I have my insulin pouch. My, what I would call, I don't know, I guess, get off bugs, a calm pouch. I have extra batteries, cables, battery charger in there. First aid kit. I have, also have a, uh, a hammock with some, I do believe, some glucose tablets in the back there. Yes, I do. And then on the very bottom, I do I have my cook kit, which I have shown before. Pick this up. Sorry about that. Now, I also have in the back. Now, this will hold a 17-inch laptop. I have, in the place of the 17-inch laptop, I always carry a gardening pad. I think I'm saying that correctly, for the garden. I use that when I'm doing reviews I or if I'm hiking, I want to sit or I need to nail on it. Yes, I always carry that pad. It fits great in there. So as you can see, we do have the orange 210 ripstop material on the inside. We also have dividers that are removable or movable. They're held in by Velcro and they are slightly padded. You get four of those with your uh, with your backpack. Now I'm not using them, but on this side you got one, two, three, four sleeves closed by Velcro. You have this semi-transparent sleeve also held closed by Velcro. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. I don't use those. So in all, as far as I understand, this whole bag, I want to say 43, possibly 44 storage compartments, pockets, sleeves, you name it. It just, it, it has it all. I mean, I can neatly organize all my stuff when I'm here on location. I hang my bag up like that. Now, normally this would not be in there, uh, but I'm taking my, uh, my, my axe with me. This would be on that side, you know, the, uh, the fold-out pouch, and everything is in there beautifully. This is a 31 liter, if I already did not say so. Before I forget, let's come back here. These zippers go inside where your water bladder would go, which is the whole size of the bag. And there is a board. 
there is a piece of plastic in there to kind of help keep the shape of the bag as well as padded uh, padding to help from stuff pressing into your back. You certainly don't want to be able to read what's in your back, uh, in your pack, by the pain you feel in your back. Okay, that is the Trident 31 from VanQuest. Remember, I am roughly 5'11", on a good day. 230 pounds, unfortunately, every day. And this, this is what the bag would look like on me. I am a big guy, it fits fine. I don't wear the waist belt because of several reasons. One, I never wear them because I always have uh, a gun, a knife. I do have my SC number six on me today on my belt and uh, a spare mag and or a multi-tool on the other side. So I don't wear waist belts. I don't need them. I can carry the weight with my upper body, no problem. And if you remember correctly, I do not go very far, just a few miles and, and that's it. Um, Excellent waist belt. I'm very happy that you can remove it. I left it for the purpose of this review because I wanted you to see it, but the fact is I'm gonna be removing it. I like it without it. The pack sits on me absolutely fine. It carries all my stuff and <sighs> ah, bugs. And will carry even more. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. Be well, stay safe. <laughs> These bugs are getting me. Link in the box below to VanQuest website with this particular pack. Okay, everybody, we'll talk soon. Bye.